Hello, hello, hello to all of my Leos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your weekly reading for July 28th through Ju through August 4th. Again, July 28th through August 4th. All right, Leos. First of all, happy birthday to all of my Leos. If I have not had an opportunity to tell you happy birthday, it is Leo season. It is officially Leo season, right? I knew from the last reading that we were going into Leo season, but now we're actually in Leo season. So happy birthday to all of my Leos. This reading is for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, and it's also for my cuspers. So let me explain to you what I mean by someone being born on the cusp and the dates associated with that. If you were born July 23rd through July 27th, you are a Leo with cancer tendency. So not only do you want to check out this video, you also want to check out the cancer video, right? Also, if you were born August 18th through August 22nd, you are a Leo with Virgo tendencies, all right? And I do have uh, videos about the cusps you know, for each astrological sign, you can go check that out. But let's get into your reading, uh, Leo. All right. Again, it's Leo season, Leo season, Leo season. <laughs> what do we know about our fabulous Leos? What do we know besides Leos are living the good life, right? You ask a Leo, they're going to tell you I'm living the good life, right? And most of them are. You know, and so Leos are very caring people, right? You're also, also very, very optimistic. You're loyal, you're honest, vivacious, um, attention-seeking in a good way. So what I mean by attention-seeking is that because most of you are so smart and such well-dressers, people like... Um, people kind of gravitate towards you. So that's what I mean by attention seeking. Um, and you just have, a lot of you have this like vivacious personality, very cheerful, very humorous, very generous, very passionate, very creative, very warm hearted. Um, yeah, I know some fantastic Leos. I know, I know people in every astrological sign and because I know what high vibrating frequencies look like, like I really can appreciate every single astrological sign, right? So even with people who are vibrating at a low frequency, it is because some things are happening, you know, going on with them. Okay. All right. So Leos, let's get into your reading. <clears throat> Most high God in the universe, please give me a reading for my Leos, my fire sign Leos. And as it relates to spirituality and where they need to take action. Also, um, as it relates to money and wealth, as it also relates to power and intellect, and as it relates to creativity and emotions. Let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's get into your reading. By the way, I'm using the Modern Witch um, Tarot cards by um, uh, Lisa Sterl created these. Shout out to her. And I'm also using the Moonology Oracle cards and also the Sacred Vision Oracle cards. Let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's see what we have here. Okay, Leo, Leo, Leo. Mm -hmm. We have the death card, the hermit card, and the moon card to start out. We're talking about major arcanas here. Okay, so the moon card, you're looking back at your shadow self. You had to kill some things, um, but it took you a while to do it. You had to really kind of maul over some things. Think about that. This is the hermit um, card, right? But you literally had to put some things to death right you had to just kill it just let it go um relationship wise right so that could be a love relationship it could be a platonic relationship it could have been family friends it could have been an ex lover romantic interest but you had to put some things to death right because i'm looking at the swords card this person kept you in such bondage in the relationship that it just felt like okay you're smothering me right so this person could have been, they could have had Aquarius, Gemini, Libra in their chart, right? Air sign in their chart. But somebody who was really, really close to you, where you just felt like, oh my gosh, it just felt like a dagger in my heart. Doesn't necessarily mean that their sun sign is an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, but they had it somewhere in their chart because it just, this like smothering, like made you just like, okay. But keep in mind too, when people make you feel like that, or they stab you in the heart, or like, you feel like you betrayed or deeply, deeply hurt by somebody close to you. They're actually using these swords. Hold on. They're using these swords to cut themselves out of your life. It's about perspective. Did you cut them out or did you allow them to just cut themselves out of their lives so that you can continue maintaining your high vibra your high frequency, right? Vibrating at a high frequency. So you let them cut themselves out of your life. They were just causing too much stress, too much stress, strain, and drama. 
look um then we also have the four of wands which is about your spirituality um about areas where you take an action this is about you know um not only did that person um cause a lot of stress this this person that's close this is about like um them holding back limiting you know causing some kind of limitations causing some kind of doubts right this is why i know the person was close to you you know very very close to you just hurt your heart you had to give it a lot of thought before you decided okay i'm done with this relationship i'm just done like you're looking back at your former life and um you just kind of sort of like introspection mode just like okay I, I really need to think about some things is it even worth it you see that it's not that it wasn't worth it right Let's see what else do we have. You're a deeply compassionate person. Um, this has also caused you, like I said, it's caused you some tears. Um, this person walked away from you, kind of sort of left you out in the cold. Um, but right now, your focus is on laser focus. And let me just say, by the way, Leo, they actually walked away from money, too. Um, a lot of money, potential money, because of all the gifts that you have, right? Um... But you're very, very focused. I mean, like very, very focused, very compassionate person, the Queen of Cups here. You're an extremely compassionate person. You know, like you love life, you love people, you want the best for people. And like I said, they cut themselves out of your life. Um, and so you just have to let them go, like really, really let them go. They cause, like I said, it felt like you were smothered in that relationship. I don't see where they actually stabbed you in the back or betrayed you. It felt like it's somebody stabbed you in your heart because the person was really, really close to you. But again, you know, and it caused you some pain. We have the Ace of Cups here. You know, so the Ace of Cups is about like free flow. It's about emotional expression, about creativity, right? But what I'm seeing for this, because the person was close to you and they felt like they were smothering you, um, this is also about like new opportunities. So they cut themselves off from you. So you have new opportunities for new friends, a new, a new love interest, new whatever, just new opportunities beginning. This is also about vitality. But again, so what I'm saying for you is because you know, this person doubted you severely, like it's in all areas of your life, in money, in spirituality, they just doubted you, but you know, let them go on their own journey. Like I said, I don't see betrayal here. I just feel like they just kind of sort of walked away, um, because they didn't see your vision. They didn't see what you saw. So they walked away from, you know, they walked away from a lot of things, you know, as it relates to you. Um, but I, like I said, I see you as being a person that just has a lot of compassion, like genuine compassion for people. And so them walking away from something like that is, you know, like I said, they didn't see it, right? They didn't see it at all. Um, what I'm seeing that the person was probably somebody that like, um, somebody that you love and adored, you know, they just, they just didn't see it. You know, somebody that you deeply, deeply care for. We're not talking about just a romantic interest. It could be somebody, a friend that you really, really cared for. Um, and it could have been a romantic interest because usually when you see the Knight of Cups, you're talking about like a romantic, there's emotional elation, adoration, you know, that kind of thing. So it could have been a romantic interest, um, but it could have been somebody also that you just deeply, deeply loved and cared for that walked away and just doubted everything, right? Let's pull an oracle card and see what we have here. But yeah, you really had to mull over this for a while and think about it um, before you went back and got your focus and was like, you know what, I need to, I need to, okay, I need to go back into laser focus mode. Like seriously, I really do. I know what kind of person I am. This person cut themselves out of my life. Um, and I really, really adored this person, like really adored them. Yeah. Yeah. This is saying don't let don't let pride get in your way, Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. This is an oracle card that I pulled said so don't let pride get in your way. Like I said, you know, the person walking away from you because they did not see your vision, right? They didn't see truly truly your heart, right? Um 
And matter of fact, they were almost looking at it as like you were probably like showboating about some things that you had in the works or some things that's happening in your life right now. And they just didn't understand and they didn't get it. So it was not like an intentional betrayal. I know sometimes when I'm talking to Leo, it may sound like I'm making excuses for people. But I'm telling you like this, this Oracle card here saying don't let your pride get in the way. Like seriously, don't let your pride get in the way. Um, you are a very, very compassionate person. So have compassion for the person or people who walked away from you because they simply just did not understand. They doubt it, right? So this is not the time to get boastful or prideful. This is the time to sit back and think, like go back into introspection mode and say, you know what? Maybe the person didn't get me and understand. I don't want you to sit there too long in it, thinking about it, Leo, at all. Like, I know you're not going to, but I just want you to say, you know, to yourself, let me have some compassion for that person. They may not have understood me. You know your self-worth. Look, you know your self-worth, right? Red indicating fire, right? And then also the number two, right? The number two is very, very powerful. So this is the number two on this particular card. So the number two is extremely, extremely, extremely powerful. The number two represents um, um, people who are very, very psychic. Um, but that's a side that they may keep to themselves. So some of you who know that you're a psychic, you could be a tarot card reader, you could be um, um, a medium, you could um, be an astrologer somewhere in any of the sciences, but you know your worth, right? So this is not the time to gossip about people. Again, this is about you keeping your vibrations very, very high, despite the fact that people cut their themselves out of your life, right? Because when you vibrate at a high frequency, not only are you being like this queen of cups, showing compassion, you're even being compassionate towards people who walk away from you because they don't understand your journey, right? So that, that compassion extends to them as well. And um, even though it hurts, it may have hurt you deeply. Um, and But I know deep down inside, because you are psychic, a lot of you have psychic abilities, I need you to tap into that intuition, that gut feeling, whatever those visions and dreams, to see what that person is actually going through, to have compassion towards them, to say, you know what, I'm just going to pray for that person. I'm going to keep my vibrations high. I'm going to pray for them, but I'm, I got to keep it moving forward. I really, really do, you know, um, because number twos are also very, very concerned with close loved ones. You're concerned with people's well-being. Again, this goes to the queen of cups about that compassion, right? Lots of emotions attached to it, right? So I want you to have compassion for people who walked away because you may not know until you dive deeper exactly the extent of their hurt and what they're going through. So the same compassion that you have for everyone else, I want you to have compassion for people who walked away from you, okay? Because they didn't understand, like they didn't fully understand. And you may think it's something as easy as just, well, why didn't they just come talk to me? You know, whatever, whatever, whatever. But that's not everybody's journey. Some people are really, really introverted. Like we have like this hermit card, the Virgo card, earth sign. We have people that are very, very introverted. And the thought of confronting a fire sign is like in their mind, they've already played out the scenario a gazillion times. Is this person going to go from zero to a thousand on me? Are they going to come out? You know, are they going to have compassion on me? Are they going to be gentle with me? Like what's going to happen? And so they've already thought in their mind, all these different scenarios. That's why I need you to tap into this right here. The queen of cups. This is not man, woman This it's masculine, feminine energy. Tap into your queen of cups, have just as much compassion for them um, it, because they need it. They need your compassion, right? And so show them that not only are you compassionate with everybody else, but you can be compassionate with them because they don't understand. But you just almost felt like, um, I don't know why I'm getting like, you felt like you were dealing with a pansy or somebody who was extra sensitive or whatever, but you felt almost like I can't even be myself fully around this person, but I don't need you to gossip about them at all. Keep your vibrations very, very high, Leo, because that person really needs your, um, they really, really need your compassion. 
And so that's what I have for you, Leos. I hope you have a fantastic, again, happy birthday to all of my Leos. I know I don't know everybody's birthday, but we are in we are officially in Leo season. So happy birthday to all of my Leos. I hope you all have a fantastic week. And um, I know a lot of people have asked me for personal readings. My number is 202-460-3205. I'll put all that information in the description um, below. Um, also, people have asked me about the crystals and do I sell them? Yes, I do. I occasionally have giveaways, all types of giveaways. And my first giveaway was giving away some of the crystals. And so while that has ended, I'm going to have some more giveaways coming up very, very soon. But again, if you're interested in any of the crystals or stones that I spoke of, I have tons of them. I only display some of them. But text me, call me, email me, you know, and uh, let's talk about it. But yeah, again, Leo. Um, you all are fantastic. You all are fabulous. Like, I don't know any Leos that's not just like fabulous that don't command attention when they walk in the room. So I love me some Leos. Um, but I want you to extend that compassion to people who have walked away because the only way you're going to know, um, why they walked away is to get into, to accept the fact that most of you are psychic. You have psychic abilities and then go deeper, dive deeper to find out what's going on with those persons or that person, okay? That's what I have for you, Leo. Have a fantastic week. Bye.